The 26RK Whitehawk is kind of the, uh, it's the cure for the common couple's camper, if you will. 6,420 pounds makes a very comfortably half ton towable, and they've, they've kind of put a new spin and a new take on a familiar concept. This is sort of an offset to the 27 foot rear bath White Hawk, but uh, with the uh, inclusion of a rear kitchen, it just makes for a, a very different and unique camping experience. One of the best parts of the 26RK White Hawk here at Halet RV is its ability to be accessed with the slide closed. About the only thing that you cut off is the refrigerator in the kitchen. In just a second here, we'll spin around to see that. Now, it, you, the door doesn't like 100% fully open here, but it's enough. You can walk through it pretty comfortably. You can obviously get through the entire bathroom, get up to the bedroom, no problem. Not to mention the fact that for quick, easy access, you do have a second entry door right here uh, direct to the bedroom if you're looking for even faster, easier bathroom access. So like I said, about the only thing that you might lose out on is refrigerator access behind that window, but that's why we have a 12 volt operated slide. The moment you pop that slide open, she just comes to life and uh, what a contrast, right? I tell people all the time, you know, for uh, every inch you get in a slide out, it feels like you get at least double that in the living room of an RV. And I've never really had anybody argue with me once they've seen one open and closed. Um, the uh, thing that I say all the time is that every RV is the best for a different reason. I do believe that, but I want to point out some areas where uh, not just materials, but the execution of this White Hawk here at Halet RV has been fantastic. Now there's not anything that really directly lines up against this. Uh, this is, uh, you know, there's a lot of different rear kitchen ultralights out there. I'll try to, you know, leave a, a link or a note for some here in the video somewhere, but um, this is somewhat of a unicorn. There's nothing else really exactly like this. Now, again, remember, the one here in this video could be different from the one that we have in stock. Like, there's different furniture colors, there's different furniture fixtures, different things available. This is an example of one 26RK that we have, maybe not necessarily the exact one that we have. So, uh, it starts right here, vaulted ceiling, it opens this thing right up, and notice that they're using double uh, lighting runs. That costs a lot of money, guys. Things like extra lights, that ceiling skylight, slide side breeze windows, all of those things total up uh, yeah, for additional cost. Now, cabinetry is going to hold together here. That's one of the concerns I have with a lot of rear kitchens. Because the kitchen is behind the rear axle, it can be inclined to bounce a little more. So, that's part of why Jayco pocket screws uh, everything uh, with lumber core cabinetry, not particle board staple cabinets. Um, you can see you've got drawers through the floor in a White Hawk. That's something they do well all over the place at Jayco. Um, they're very good about putting max drawers in there. The stainless appliance bundle really is a nice stark contrast to the wood tones. Now the wood tones are not quite as dark as the uh, camera seems most of the time. When I get just a straight shot at the wood, you can see that it does have a, 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 a decent richness to it. But against the, uh, the just billowing light coming in through all the windows, it, it makes it look like a darker walnut than it really is. Um, it's one of the reasons I like the stainless is it just helps with that color contrast. But notice that like things like color contrasting walls here, that is something that they've done very well through the entirety of the Jayco Ultralight series. Uh, their uh, interior decor team down there is really on point. Now right when you walk in the door up top, you've got a hidden control panel where the grandkids can't uh, get up here and muck with your important bells, buttons, whistles, and switches. Um, the refrigerator in this is an eight cubic foot fridge freezer. Class standard in this size and category is a six, so it is kind of important to, to note the differences there. Um, the uh, uh, sink, you have both that high-rise sprayer faucet, uh, a sink cover, and that roll-away drying rack. And this is real tile backsplash as well. It's not that liar, liar, pants on fire wallpaper that we saw for so many years. Now, things like this, this is Jayco, classic Jayco right here. Just Jayco doing Jayco things. Rear kitchens with plenty windows. That is something that they've been very good about for many, many years now. Um, you know, back, I mean, just even when uh, Eagle, back when Eagle was still uh, a, a, a stick skeleton trailer, a wood frame trailer, they were still doing that way back when. Um, they're not the only ones that have ever done it, but they're the ones that like really became known for it. Now, I love the positioning of the entertainment center here, and the little detail here that the TV is not flat mounted, you see how the TV is mounted on a bias and it is angling downward directly across from your super slide seating. And that is one of the reasons that we thought this would be just a prime candidate for a theater seat right here. That's a non-standard build that we put in this one, but I think it's the right call. 
you are facing directly across from your entertainment center. You still have, I mean, these things are wall-hugging recliners. So if the grandkids come over, I have a lot of people tell me in their fifth wheels, we never even open our hide bed. Half the time the kids sleep in the recliners anyway. Well, bang, there you go. But if that's not enough, you still have your little fold-down uh, dinette here. And if you're not a fan of those pedestal bases, some people aren't, Understand guys, that's what I call screwdriver work. For 40 bucks, you could swap that out to a pair of folding legs and make the table just the just ultimate and floating uh, you know, comfort convenience. Now, under the dinette benches here, you are picking up extra storage and the uh, both sides of your dinette bench are gonna have these nice little totes. You can see they got both of them stuffed under the one side here just for shipping purposes. Now, check this out, lower accent lighting under all of your seating as well as overhead accent lighting above the super slide again that's just white hawk doing white hawk things it really just helps brighten this up in here when um white hawk was uh revamped a few years ago they did away with the slide side windows but they added that overhead accent light to help it brighten up in here well now <laughs> you got both you got and instead of or and i think and is better than or but I want to resume in on this entertainment center here. You've got a pair on uh, one on each side here of these big. I mean, this could be pantry space right here, but just general storage towers on both sides. I also love the fact that they included that window right there, and it just leaves all of this just beautiful, open, almost like desk space. It's just you can always find something to do with flat horizontal surfaces, ladies and gentlemen. You'll always find something to put there, whether it's decor related, whether you want to add a Blu-ray player or anything like that. This is the biggest, most easily accessible entertainment center I've seen in almost any RV ever. Not just in lightweights, but in fifth wheels, in, in motorhomes, in anything. This is just a big entertainment center. But what's great is how you're not losing anything. Because if you glance at it, you're like, yeah, but there's all that space back there I'm not using. No, remember you got an outside kitchen located under that. That's kind of the cool thing about this. The way that they made the inside play with the outside, everything just kind of works together in concert. We got our electric space heating fireplace here. It does have LED visuals. It's remote controlled so you can keep your foot, feet warm. And you've got your little uh, shoe garage right when you walk in the door there. The, the glare coming in through the window isn't making depth perception an easy thing currently, but there you have it. Um, and this wall in the prototype, I looked at this wall and I was like, oh, that is just flat. Well, just the inclusion of that little mirror, just to add a third dimension of life and and uh, and brightness to this really helps. So, uh, you know, obviously with the slide open, getting through the bathroom, not a challenge whatsoever. And what I do like in here is just the, the, the light, bright nature of everything, but uh, it's for a few reasons. You've got both a big skylight, you've got great lighting in here, just like you have in the living room, and you've got this giant, um, you know, combination uh, fan, letting in natural light, and the big skylight over the shower. Now, with this being a vaulted ceiling, plus the location of that, they located the skylight correctly. So this is tall person friendly. Not every RV with the, the bubble-looking vaulted ceiling is tall person friendly. This one is. And with that split open, easy entry spa-style shower door, Hopping in and out, not a problem. Now, they also put a pretty big sink in here that adult hands can fit into nicely. But I do like how they kept this pretty minimal back here so that um, you do have plenty of room to, like, you can stand at the sink and somebody can walk through the bathroom behind you. That was well executed. Little stuff, too, like the little towel racks, little extra things they're putting in here. Those are little touches you don't realize are missing from other trailers until you go to camp and they don't have them. Now, this little blue LED light during uh, the day like this isn't terribly impressive, but at night is when this thing comes to life, and it really just causes just a, a cascade of blue light through here to be able to see everything you need. And behind the toilet, we have huge dedicated linen space. Um, White Hawk has, has cranked their bathrooms up to 11, brother. They have really, really brought these things to life. And then you realize you have this additional like corner toiletry cabinet. They just, the, and it, I mean, storage from the floor to ceiling. They never waste anything. But if you're looking at it, you're saying, well, let's see, that cabinet stops there, and that cabinet, wait a minute, are they wasting space behind it? And the answer is no. No, they're not. What they're doing here is they're giving you the benefit 
of an extra bedroom closet with its own little extra bedroom nightlight right here. I guess not nightlight, but you know, you get the idea. Um, but without the extra weight and cost of a bedroom closet slide out. Like I love our Rockwood campers. Rockwood campers are great and they absolutely have their own set of awesome features, guys. But to get this kind of storage in a Rockwood, you have to sacrifice that window and add an extra slide here that costs a lot of extra money and adds a little bit of extra weight. Well, Whitehawk has kind of found a way here to sort of give you the best of both worlds without that extra cost and weight because you didn't have to extend the coach or make it heavier or more expensive with an extra slide mechanism to accomplish this. Now up front here, between the, the windowed or the mirrored um, cabinet doors on your, uh, your side wardrobes and that big front windshield and the extra skylight above and the extra large, oh come on camera, focus with me now. This camera's got ADHD guys, sometimes it loses focus. <laughs> Oh, dad jokes all day long. Um, but anyway, with all the big windows and mirrors and everything in here, it is light, bright, and comfortable in this bedroom all the time. It's actually so light and bright that the camera struggles with this from time to time, so kind of keep that in mind. Now, uh, up behind each of these hanging closets, there is just a handy little extra utility shelf here just to, um, you know, a little, like, phone storage or pocket storage or whatever, but you do have your normal CPAP uh, friendly stands and outlets and everything on both sides. I like this uh, this this extra tall uh, window right here, plus the, the windshield window if you want to slide up that privacy curtain at night. If you hear a funny sound on your campsite, you can actually look around at your campsite without having to like, get up out of bed. Now another thing is, uh, whether it's inside or outside, if you choose to add a TV and mount on this little re quick release mount right here. There's a matching mount on the outside of the trailer you can hook on to so that uh, one TV can kind of float around the camper and you've got your uh, hookups uh, right here in easy location for it. Now what's nice is there's enough room right here where even if you do add a flat screen TV, you can still walk around it without like your shoulder hitting it and knocking it off the wall. Now let's step outside that door and see what she has for us on the outside of the coach. Biggest thing that just shocks me on these White Hawks compared to not even that long ago is just, God dang, do these things look great. They have just a killer spaceship look to them with that, especially with that uh, upgraded nose cap and windshield. I bet a lot of people aren't even going to realize that's optional because you are going to be hard pressed to find a dealer that's going to have this in stock without that feature. It is just such a knockout look. Um, little things I like. The little power outlets over here, the easy reach switch, so you can actually get to like your nose cap uh, beam lighting and uh, accent lights. Uh, you also can add, like we've done here, an outside picnic table. Again, that's an optional piece of equipment. What I love is that when you get this with a White Hawk, it's self-storing. It's up here out of the way. It's not eating up your storage capacity. So you don't have to worry about, like, dealing your cargo space in here. I kind of left the power cord in here to sort of give you an idea of uh, space size comparisons. Now, another thing is the, the heavy-duty like automotive seal system they have on their baggage doors, these big heavy slam latches that you see up here, it makes it so easy to get in and out of there and, uh, and to seal properly. Plus, that's a big, thick, heavy laminated baggage door. So it's insulated, guys, because what's directly above that pass-through storage area? That would be your bedroom. And you don't want your hot or cold air that you're trying to keep inside the RV bleeding out. You don't have that problem here. Now, uh, all lights, whether it's tails, markers, everything, are LED. And uh, I've got my power off currently, but what's kind of cool, and it, it just looks awesome. It's not, it doesn't really make the RV do anything better, it just looks amazing. You've got your, your cool little uh, LED like hitching marker accent lights right here, but then you've got these neon blue glow beams. And in conjunction with the exterior color palette on this, it just looks incredible. And I also love the fact how modern this is. Like they got rid of the, uh, all those, you know, Nike swooshes all over the place. Um, they look okay, the Nike swooshes look okay. And uh, I think that they're probably easier to do from the manufacturing standpoint because straight lines, you have to ace those things. There's no forgiveness on a straight line. You have to nail it. But man, when you do, look, just look at this thing for a second and just tell me that is not one of the best looking lightweights on the market. It absolutely is. I wish it wasn't snowing. I wish I didn't have, a, you know, the hail it mount no snow behind this thing. But, because in the sun, oh my god, is this just one of the best looking trailers I've ever seen. Just stunning. Anyway, I could sit here and talk about that all day. That's not why you're watching this. Um, chassis. This whole thing rides on a different chassis. It's on an aircraft style Z-frame, not an I-beam chassis. It's lighter, 
but stronger. They spend more money on that. There's a lot of things Jayco spends a lot more money on. Like the, this is an aluminum structured floor, but it does have tongue groove plywood floor decking. Uh, you've also got Jayco's Magnum Trust roof system up top, which is 50% stronger than the next closest guy. This thing is rated to carry 50% more weight up top than anything else. So days like this, where we get these big crazy, there you go, heavy snow packs on these things, you know, we don't have to brush off the roofs of Jayco's ever. Ever. We don't we just don't need to deal with that. Now they're they're slide walls, they're fully laminated. You can walk up here, you know, you can kind of knock on it like you're knocking on the neighbor's door. This whole thing is fully laminated and insulated. If an RV doesn't have a laminated slide wall, it doesn't mean it's a bad camper. It doesn't mean the slide is built poorly. It means that it very well could be, and you should do a little more research before diving in on this thing. The skin holes. It's, it looks like it's moving even when it's sitting still, you know? Um, the, uh, let me back up here. All your slide windows, well, all the windows open for ventilation, including the slide side windows like we talked about inside. The LED taillights on this, at highway speeds, these things ignite 12 milliseconds faster. That's, you know, pretty much the literal blink of the eye. But you know what happens? You know how much can happen in the literal blink of an eye at highway speeds? And the answer is a heck of a lot. So those LED taillights right there can give someone behind you um, like up to five feet of additional stopping time when you hit the brakes. Now this does have this cool little side outside kitchen which is neat because a lot of rear kitchens, I, I mean, not a lot of rear kitchens have outside kitchens like this. And in that respect, this is something of an offset to the 2804 rear kitchen open range that we carry here at Halet RV. I actually had a small hand in helping uh, give some creative input on that from the dealer's standpoint, and that's been successful. And that's what makes me think that this one will also be popular because it has a lot of the same notes, but it, you could, I mean, it's just shaped so drastically differently. But what, what is cool, because there's a lot of people like, I don't want to cook under my awning. I don't want to do that. Well. They still run a gas propane line back here uh, so you can get to everything. Um, the uh, Let's look at this outside kitchen since it is such a unique quality on this model. Um, it's somewhat reminiscent to me of the side mount outside kitchens that I see in our, our Keystone Cougar trailers here, but they went a little further with this one. Instead of just a little cooktop and an outside fridge, they actually went with the full self-supporting telescopic outside kitchen. It will hold itself here so that like you can you can bump it and it's like, nope, 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 not where I'm supposed to be. That way if you've got something like a big old boiling pot of water or you're cooking beans or something and somebody bumps this, it's not going to go flying inside like the, the whole outside kitchen's not going to get slotted in the camper and spill your hot beans all over people. You know, maybe the, the little pan will jostle around a little bit, but basically this is all going to stay in place. Also, real sink, real sink, real uh, drain to a gray tank, not to a, uh, um, oh, uh, just the dog dish that you have to flip on the ground. And you'll notice this is right above their wide stance stability axle system here. This is something that helps the trailer stay on the straight and narrow when you're going down the road. It helps um, reduce sway, it helps reduce bouncing, and if you start to get a little closer, you can actually pick up the fact that Jayco's run on Goodyear Endurance radials. They have the highest sidewall integrity ratings. They're American made. Uh, these, this is the, these are the best tires and ultralight campers out there. They spend more money on that. There's things they spend more money on in your Whitehawk product. Um, your anti-slam entry doors, front and rear, the wider rear entry door, the extra wide 30 inch door, and something that seems to be confusion to a lot of people is the best full trailer warranty in the business. It, this, you're saying there's going to be some people watch this says, nuh-uh. There's a guy out there that has a three-year warranty. No, they don't. No, they do not. That is a structural warranty, and those things are not created equally. I know, because we carry different products here at Halet RV, some of which have three-year structural warranties, and they are not created equally. So, the, in terms of a full RV warranty, you've got either one year or pretty much Jayco at a two-year. There's not a lot of guys that even offer a two-year camper warranty anymore. It's pretty much just Jayco still. They've been, and they've been doing it for a long, long time. Um, there's nothing wrong with three-year structural warranties, but they don't all cover the same things the same way. So you have to kind of research them. And in the second year, if you have an air conditioner problem, Jayco's got you covered. But they also still are covering that structure that entire year. They cover more things for longer with their warranty. You know, it's a peace of mind thing to give you more coverage uh, in a greater shakedown period. Like if you guys build uh, a new house, 
the contractor's going to come in. They say, okay, you got a month, go through. I want to see, uh, you know, your hit list. If something, if a piece of drywall cracks, let me know. I'll come in and fix it. And after that, you're on your own. Jayco gives you a two-year shakedown period, guys. You can really run this thing through its paces, and then you know you're good. And they wouldn't be able to offer to your warranty if they weren't performing better. You know, because if they, I, I heard a, a guy said, well, I was at a, a dealer down the street and they said that Jayco's have to have a two-year warranty because all the stuff that goes wrong with them. And I said, what kind of absolute silly stupidity would that be from a business standpoint? You'd be spending twice the money on your uh, on warranty stuff to fix a product. They're not going to do that. They're not going to spend money just to spend money. They're going to put that out there knowing that their product can back it up. That's why they have that upgraded chassis. That's why they have the aluminum structure, the plywood floor decking, the plywood roof decking, the Magnum truss roof system. That's why they do all those extra things, guys. Now, one other thing I want to hit on here is the Glacier insulation package because you really can't see it but it makes a big difference. Now, what is neat is all Jayco slide outs have uh, insulated slide floors, standard. That is just, even a J-Flight SLX does that. So even without the insulation bundle, um, this still has something in the slides that almost no other trailer has anyway. But what the Glacier Bundle does is it basically doubles the insulation in the belly, forced air heated underbelly. You uh, pretty much double the insulation in the roof as well. So it's not just an underbelly treatment. It's a roof and belly treatment, and the insulation wraps down the nose cap, obviously, not <laughs> blocking out the window as you go. So it is uh, one of the, the heaviest insulation bundles available in lightweight trailers. Now, what did I just say? Did I say this is a Four Seasons camper? No. No, it is not. There is yet to be any manufacturer who has hard published data on this. Open range is close. They, they're they starting to do testing on their lightweights. I know that Keystone's trying on a few of their models, but no one's actually published it yet. My point here is this is an extended season RV. This is a, uh, a cold snap protection RV. Or if you live in an area where it's really hot, it will help keep the cold air in the camper better because insulation is not just for the cold. Up here where it's snowflake season, it's the first thing that our minds go to is keeping you warm in the winter. But it is just as valuable, if not more so in the summertime when you get the most use out of the camper. So... Every camper is the best for different reasons. They all do cool things. It's just a matter of which one does the cool things that you want to spend your money on. Do you like it better than your paycheck? That's kind of the question behind all the campers from all the dealers. If the things I've shared in this video, if you like those, then maybe this is the one. If it's close, you give us a call, let us know what else you're looking for, and we'll help you get dialed in on that perfect camper, because we only do everything and can carry darn near everything here at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.